Everything woke turns to We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Before the word woke became the rights figurative boogeyman, it had a much richer history. So how did we get here? Let's rewind. The first recorded use of the word goes back to 1934, when a black blues singer named Huddy William Ledbetter, aka Leadbelly, wrote a song called The Scottsboro Boys about the nine young black men who were falsely accused of sexually assaulting two white women in Alabama. I advise everybody to be a little careful when they go along through that, but stay woke, keep their eyes open. The phrase stay woke became slang among black communities and was used as a warning that meant to be on alert while traveling in deeply racist areas. The word wasn't used politically until the 1960s when the New York Times published If You're Woke, You Dig It. The article listed popular phrases used in African-American slang. Fast forward to 1972 when playwright Barry Beckham wrote Garvey Lives, a play about civil rights activist Marcus Garvey. In the play, one of Beckham's characters exclaims, I've been sleeping all my life, and now that Mr. Garvey done woke me up, I'm gonna stay woke, and I'm gonna help him wake up other black folk. Staying woke no longer meant simply staying alert. It also meant to no longer allow social injustices to go unacknowledged. Then came the queen of R&B, Erykah Badu's 2008 song, Master Teacher, in which the singer brought the idea of wokeness back into the mainstream. In 2014, amid protests in Ferguson, Missouri, the hashtag stay woke became popular on Twitter and has remained in use in social justice space since. What woke is, is keeping your antenna up and paying attention to the things that are going on around along in 2017 the term woke was added to the oxford dictionary defined as being aware of social and political issues especially racism today the phrase seems caught in a culture war between progressive rhetoric and republican scare tactics the left uses it to demand change among political and societal norms and the right sees the idea of being woke as a means of brainwashing today's youth in 2022 the stop woke act was signed into law in florida though it was later blocked by a judge Introduced by Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, the law aimed to give businesses, employees, children, and families tools to fight back against woke indoctrination. There's that woke boogeyman again. So the next time you hear someone say something like this. I don't like the term woke because I hear woke, woke, woke. You know, it's like just a term that use half the people can't even define it. They don't know what it is. Remember the words power.